We're the best. 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 Can you burp on demand? Uh, fuck. Shut up. Number four. <laughs> this is number four now. And we finally figured it all out. There's the first podcast is out on Spotify and iTunes and SoundCloud. And there's a big fuck around and it took like six weeks longer than we thought it would, but we're done now. And now we got all this footage we gotta bloody edit. We got all this shit we gotta do now. And Thanks for that. Look, you can't even see Bosley's face because there's a glare. Yeah, in- there's a, Matt has to stand there like that. You can see him move, move Matt, yeah. That's how high production this shit is. Because our curtain fell down. A cur- a window curtain fell off. So now we have to have Matt stand there so you, you can't see the glare that good. Because you want to see Boz's face. Oh, well, carry on. <laughs> Shall we carry on and discuss the week that's gone? Guess what? Well, you did something on the weekend and I did something on the weekend. Sure we did. I went to a wedding and you went to a Bucks. Yeah, we had our good mate Johnny's Bucks and let me tell you right now, we fucked some hookers. We fucked them hard and three of us got arrested. I haven't even spoken to anyone. Man, we don't hold back these days, do we? Because holding back is how people get left behind. I did hear that the other day. It's, it's, it's just physics. If you're holding someone back, everyone else goes past them. And then they get left behind. So, that's why we don't do that. So last week we didn't film. We just uh, we had, we had videos come out anyway because we've always got videos coming out. We just are relentless with our video putting outness. We did a science experiment. We threw some sticks and shit. So you know that saying when you're kid, sticks and stones may break your bones, but names will never hurt you. That's bullshit. Yeah, watch the video. It's we proved it that it's bullshit. It's a fucking myth. Also, another very exciting thing happened this week. 100,000 people press subscribe on our YouTube channel now. Now it's up to 110 in like a day after. It's getting exponential. It's ridiculous. So now we get that silver play thing. I don't know what we're going to do with it yet, but we'll probably- Melt it down. And skull it. (laughs) (laughs) Have a couple of shots of silver play button. Bit of mercury. (laughs) (laughs) All right, we're going to read some comments now. We're going to have a read of a couple of comments from our latest few videos. Um, from memory, I don't think there were many interesting comments. Like They're interesting, but like they're not like, you know, this. let's just see. Yeah, yeah, we'll let's have a Let's just see. Okay, fucking sticks and stones. <laughs> All right. 1.1k comments. Is that good? Oh, yeah, that's not too bad. We usually do better, but whatever. All right. Hmm. Now, there's a comment from Kira Leah, and she said, You didn't even peg any big rocks. Disappointed. 35 reactions. Yeah, well, fair enough. We, we got scared. No, we, there was a big rock, but we, yeah, we like- you're right. We should have thrown some bigger rocks. We we did bitch out about that, but we we made up with it by throwing and hitting each other with some pretty large logs. Right? Yeah. People just it's never enough. Oh man, you, you, they take you give them a centimeter and they want two. Yeah, they want two or three centimeters That's usually. Fucked. God, rulers are only thirty. It's unbelievable. All right. There's also a comment from Mernorsh Nagrungrela. Shit, that's a hard name. Name just out. rolls right off the tongue. What we want to see is whether or not chains and whips excite. Now, that's a reference to Chris Brown's song. With Rihanna, right? <laughs> no, I just connected them somehow. It's actually just Rihanna's song. Yeah, chains and whips excite. Yeah, we should do that one. Do chains and whips excite us and we'll just belt each other and see if we get fucking hardcore erections from it. <laughs> Oh, that's fucked up. All right. The next one is from Mitch Freeman. This is the best one yet. Thanks, Mitch. We'll take it. Yeah, we'll, yep, we'll take that one. We'll put that one. We'll put that one home. We'll put that in the in the little uh, little box. Yeah, we've got a little box for those sort of comments. Now, this one's from Daryl Thorpe. Oh, now yeah. this one's pretty spot on. It's all like, yeah, it's yeah, it's it's correct. You guys are the greatest humans ever. Wow. <laughs> we normally right. say best, but greatest will work too. Any adjective that is similar like that you can use to describe us. And that's accurate. So he probably read that in an encyclopedia somewhere. He's not just making comments. That's just a fact. Now, this one's probably also correct. 
Okay. Wayne Bryan has said, you guys are fucked. Keep it coming. Yep. Yep. That's also correct. That's also probably from the dictionary. I think that's Marty and Michael. That's that's what that is. Yeah. When you see fucked, there's Marty and Michael right <laughs> underneath it as an adjective. I'm impressed with your accuracy from Jason Farley. Well, we used to be tennis coaches. We did miss a lot, but we just edited the missed ones yeah, out because this- no one wants to see someone nearly get hit by a stick. They only want to see someone get hit by the fucking stick. That's so true. Shakira Carroll. Um, it said, best science video I've seen so far. Now, that's why we did it. And that's why we do most of the- oh. <laughs> Our set's falling to pieces for those who can't see what's ha- happening. Yeah, only the YouTube viewers can see that. Should we just leave it like that yeah, now, fuck man? fuck it. Yeah, fuck it. Um, Moving on. Or do we do- Is that it? Is yeah, that, I think that's some, good co- that's some good comment reading. Yeah. The, the comments were pretty boring on that one, I guess, hopefully for the there next There wasn't one. much hate, which is the ones I do enjoy reading. So, next time, just comment. No, don't do that. You probably will. Fuck. Just keep the love up. We are yeah, the greatest, the best, and science. Our next segment <coughs> is called... <coughs> <laughs> and basically, we just tell a really funny story or a fucked up story that ha- has happened in our life. Time. <clears throat> um, all right. Going back to what date? This was 2012, I believe. We were 22 years old. We were in Koh Samui, Thailand, an island near Koh Phanang where the full moon party goes off. And we was having a good time. Oh, we were out my. drinking, out with the boys, having a good time. We thought, hey, let's jump back home and get changed and hit the streets and go out in Thailand, boys. <laughs> we well, arm in arm, walking down the road, we're all happy. We just had a swim at the beach. Bang! <laughs> yeah, so fuck it. it's probably about four o'clock in the afternoon. We're walking back into our hostel. I'm mad. That's what happened. A big bang. And we just went like that. And then we're like, what the fuck was that? We're just about to turn into our hostel, poke our heads around the corner. A little Thai man comes running out. He's just yeah, committed time. the crime. Yeah. And then we see this tourist, this white guy just lying on the ground, holding himself, blood just pissing. Ooh. It was on tiles. Pissing out of his body. Like in his abdomen. And there was probably about a meter to two meters of blood starting to circulate around this body. And no one was touching it. No, no one, one wanted to, a bar of him. And we thought to ourselves, <laughs> like, usually in Australia, if I see someone get shot, I'd probably, like, help go, up, him. go up and help. But in, in Thailand, we, yeah. we were like, we don't we don't want to go and help him because we, if we're associated with him, they think we're his mates. They're going to pop one in us, too. Pop a cap. So, what did we do? We just <laughs> stood there. Oh. We saw people. We saw the locals just walking <gasps> through the blood. Over his body. And, like, the, the little Thai, oh. Thai guy that was working at a hostel were like, what the fuck? Is, is someone coming to help him? He's like, yeah, yeah. The cops will be here soon. The ambulance is coming. Half an hour later, Dude. half an hour later, the cops rock up and just throw a blanket over him. He's, he's lost consciousness at this point. We just saw him jittering, like, a little bit. Oh. Nerves. <laughs> Sick. God, and he was of English descent. He was a tourist. Yeah, he's and and, oh, and we figured out. We also during while we we're waiting for the police, we figured out why he was shot. Apparently, he there was uh, he was getting like a Thai massage with a happy ending or something, and he um, wasn't happy with it. So he was started abusing the Thai lady, and then the like pimp can just came out and just popped him one. Apparently, yeah, man, you don't fucking don't get pissed off with your masseuse. Your happy violent. endings. Just Just, take- if you don't come, deal with it. Yeah. Go home and help yourself. Unless you're in Australia, then you can demand that you, you know, a bit more respect. But in Thailand, you just fucking get out of there. Yeah. Maybe just don't do it. Get your mates to do it for you. Yeah, fuck. Go out. Just watch some porn and then just get your mates to jerk you off as you do it. Like like, like a normal person. Just get your friends to toss you off as you watch porn. <laughs> like everybody else. <laughs> it's a safe way to do it. Anyway, the, co- the cops rock up, throw the blanket on him, and the cops are the ones who called the ambulance. So, the ambulance hadn't even been called yet. It's been half an hour. This guy's just sitting there. Lying in his own And we didn't know- We didn't have a phone or anything in Thailand. We were poor tourists at this point. So, we couldn't go, oh, shit. And we wouldn't even know the number. What's the fucking triple O? There's no number in Thailand. No, no, no. In Thailand, no. And then anyway, the, so then they all got us, the cops made us all wait out outside and then the ambulance rocked up. And then last we saw, he was getting carted off that he was like on one of those- Do you coming. remember as they pulled him in, they put him into the ambulance and then they had to 
they fucking ran back inside because they forgot like his one some fucking tool or gloves that he was using for the body. So they forgot something, and then they went and got that before they took him to the hospital. And no some urgency. instrument. So we think he was dead because there was no sirens going, nothing. There was just like just a casual casually, drive off. Yeah, casually walking him in. So. Uh, if any of if this hopefully imagine if like the viewers his family was watching this or something fuck well this is a a year before that I was in Thailand and in the same fucking city I at like probably 3am we were in the bars and I hear bang bang then all the shutters come down and every bar on the street and I was like no 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 let me have a look so I lifted it up and then I saw this time it was a Thai man who'd been shot and he was running down the street with two like uh, wounds of yeah two shots Shot, shot wounds it's fucked up it's so it's something about Koh Samui don't if you go to Thailand so I guess the gist of the story is if you go to Thailand go to Koh Samui but don't get shot yeah. we've seen someone get shot and we've seen him bleed out and we and did we- nothing we did nothing to help <laughs> We watched his life slip from his hands. <laughs> we could have applied pressure. We could have uh, helped. We Ooh, could have made sure yeah. we gotten an ambulance. We could have... No, no nothing. Nothing. <laughs> we stood back and watched the man die. <laughs> yeah, then we went out and got pissed drunk. <laughs> Hammered and told everyone <laughs> proudly. <laughs> All right, our Ooh, next segment right. is called. <laughs> and basically, this segment is all about uh, trending news stories that we read the titles and then we talk about them. We, yeah, you may have heard this segment before in if you've seen previous episodes. Anyway, without further ado, let me read the title of the first news story. Who's it by? Oh, yeah. This is from the Daily Star. Well, it's not the Daily Mail. And here we have... <coughs> Watch. The shocking moment a delivery driver dips his balls in a customer's takeaway. Disgusted Facebook user spotted the vile dunking video online and alerted the delivery company. Okay, so he hasn't just done it and been seen. He's filmed it and then uploaded it onto Facebook. He's done. He's filmed him himself. Uh, I think someone else, has, someone else has filmed him here by the looks of this thumbnail. And it looks like he's gone and dipped his balls into what looks like some sauce. Well, depends. Is the person being rude as fuck to him or something? What's his back? What's the backstory here? No one knows. No one knows. Oh, fuck. But he has, you know, and like, to be honest, I've dipped my balls in some food before and amongst friends, of course, not, not for strangers. And we've done Uber Eats before as well. I would never dip my balls in... In a anyone's stranger, food, but, but friends, haven't you put my, my toothbrush up your ass? No, no, yeah, I used to. Uh, when Michael left his toothbrush in the shower, I would get his toothbrush and thoroughly clean myself with it. Yeah, fuck. So yeah, we'll be, for a while, like a while, a few months that went on. <laughs> <laughs> so for friends, it's okay. If that was his friend, then it'd be all right. But since it's a stranger, I guess, man, he's in the wrong, sort of. Well, yeah, well, he's in the wrong because he filmed it and uploaded it. If you're gonna do it, don't film it. Well, or film it, but don't upload it. Okay, we'll upload it. Yeah, he did the right thing. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Next story. All right, here we have a story from CBS News. Lightsaber dueling has become an official sport in France. Uh-oh. Get fucked. This France. is not on. Of this- course it happens in fuck off France. <laughs> oh, no, Paris is who we don't enjoy that much. Okay, French sorry, people Parisians. have a huge crush on French girls. Yeah, because you love hairy armpits. <laughs> <clears throat> okay, yeah. Yeah, of course this happened in France. That's all I can really say about that. It's not my thing. It's not, lightsaber dueling isn't my thing. It's Haven't watched Star Wars. Never watched Star Wars. Never will watch Star Wars. Just like I'll never fucking watch The Fast and Furious either. Don't get it. Don't understand. <sighs> Next story. Yeah, I'm pissed off now. I'm generally pissed yeah, off. I sense that. This is another story from the Daily Star. Mm, Well, it's not the Daily Mail. Vegan YouTuber shocks fans by eating meat and ejaculates for the first time in months. Vegan YouTuber Tim Sheaf started eating meat and discovered an unexpected benefit. What the fuck? Tim Sheaf is a hero to vegans worldwide. The world champion free runner came to widespread attention after rustling up 
a vegan burger on Jamie Oliver's cooking channel and is one of the most popular vegan figures on YouTube. Or he was. The super healthy athlete who appeared on American Ninja Warrior has been on the wrong end of a social media firestorm after he announced that he was going to start eating meat again after revealing that he ate raw eggs and salmon after a 35-day water fast. Holy shit. And there was a surprise benefit to giving up the vegan lifestyle. In a YouTube video, Tim from Derby told his followers, the first night after I had the salmon, I had a wet dream. I hadn't ejaculated in months. Vegans can't ejaculate? Are you serious? No, that's just him. And that's just because he hasn't jerked off for so long. So, that's why he's had a wet dream. He would have had a wet dream whether he had meat or not. I that- don't know. I don't know. That's that's a pretty strange coincidence. And it's enough for him to comment on it, to be like, eating meat made me cum. Now, he hasn't ejaculated for months. That's not normal. Yeah, well, he's- Yeah, exactly. I'm ejaculating right now. I'm Right now, I'm ejaculating. This is constant, constant coming. At least every 15 minutes. And I'm not a <clears throat> vegan, but anyway, yeah, that's weird. And if that if meat is what made him ejaculate, then yeah, I would be I would be eating meat as well. <laughs> All right, here we have another story from CBS News. More than one thousand five hundred live turtles found duct taped and stuffed in suitcases. <laughs> All right, so this looks like some sort of black market, like yeah, well, that's animal f- smuggling shit. What country? Uh, the Philippines. Yeah, fuck, man. That's not good. I don't... Yeah, I guess don't do that. Yeah, maybe if like if you find 1,500 turtles, like maybe you could put them in a suitcase, but like with some food and maybe some water or something. Yeah, no duct tape. Because that would be uncomfortable. Yeah. It just that's fucked. It's not that's, just, that's worse than... Like, I can't believe turtles are that expensive. Apparently, 1,500 turtles. That's so many turtles. Fucking hell. <clears throat> and that's only- Turtles can be like this big though, like centimeters, like that's, t- like one or two centimeters. That's $86,000 US. So, it's not even like one turtle isn't even that much money. So yeah, you could probably get- Oh, man. Like, like, I know what else you should if, put. If you smuggled 1,800 turtle-sized bricks of cocaine, <sighs> you would be making a lot more money. Yeah. So, don't do the turtles. If you're going to smother, smuggle fucking shit in, don't do turtles, do cocaine. So any a message out there for any people want it, thinking what they want to start smuggling and selling <coughs> on the black market, Cocaine. class A drugs, class yeah. A drugs all the way. Okay, promise me, promise me you'll smuggle class A drugs tonight. Comment below. All right, next story. <laughs> From the Daily uh, Mail. Daily Mail, more like <laughs> do you, do you, toilets. Um, fuck off ads. Of course, the Daily Mail has ads everywhere. Sick. Look, Sick. another one. I'm trying to r- scroll down and it won't let me. Fuck you. Woman is attacked by a jaguar after climbing over a fence near its enclosure at, at an Arizona zoo so she could take a selfie. Wow. That, that's sort of cool. Like, that takes balls to do. Scary, scary shit. A jaguar is fucking- They're huge. That, that's- Yeah, that's, that should be- she's, she's an idiot. And that's what happens. That's what happens. If you're- Like, balls on her. She's got some balls on her tits. She's got some big fat balls to be able to do that. And they're on her tits. <laughs> <laughs> but like, yeah, that's just the risk you run when you climb an enclosure. That's, that's just what happens. And if that was us, we would have fucking dodged the Jaguar. If you, a Jaguar is lunging at you, just step out of the way. Step out of the just way. Just fucking jump up high or just over let, it. Don't let it like bite you. Fuck. Man, people are just so <sighs> fucking dumb. Yeah, <laughs> Holy shit. <clears throat> All right. Here we have a story from the Independent or Independent, I think, as it's pronounced. <laughs> Domino's pizza driver film doing wheelie down high street sparks investigation. What? What? Yeah. Legend. Good on him. You know how boring <clears throat> it would be being a fucking pizza delivery yeah, driver? Fuck. you got to make your own fun. He's trying to kill some time. As long as he's good at it and he doesn't hit anyone, he's fine. Yeah, he's just like, I don't know, the the fact that he's a delivery driver shouldn't even be part of the story. It's just a dude doing a wheelie down the street. That's yeah, it. that's sort of a bit annoying because it's very similar to Fast and Furious. Yeah, he probably watch, has watched that. Yeah, so, so let's fuck him, get on actually. the next story. Fuck that guy. Oh, here we go. Story from the Daily Mail. Oh, fucking more like <laughs> toilets. The Mr. Bean of Crooks. 
casino dealer who oh. tried to slip a $5,000 chip into his sock is fired after cameras caught every move on his bungled heist. Good guy. If you work at a casino, fuck, like, I, yeah, try and steal from it. Because they fuck people's lives up. If you can get five grand, for, imagine all the people that have slipped it in and haven't got caught. I wonder if there is that many, because surely they'd be on with, like, a fucking bonnet brother. Yeah, on a, on maybe, a, but- I've always wondered, though, if it's possible. <clears throat> so, apparently, it's not possible. If you, yeah, if you get away with that, good work, man, and props to you, because- I would- If I was going to try and steal a chip, I would, like, Ben, like- f- like pretend I'm leaning down to my laces and <gasps> and try and inhale one, like swallow a chip. Well, it's, it it's fucking similar to the last story in a way. If you do that, just don't get caught when you do it. Like we, if we did that, so wouldn't true. we? Just, fucking wouldn't get caught. We just like if I was doing it, I'd just make sure that no one saw it. I like, just, just bang it. like real fast. Do like, it, do it like, when like no one's flash. watching. Do it when no one's watching, and yeah. then you won't get caught. <laughs> yeah, exactly. God, that's easy. Yeah, again. Idiots. All right, here we have another story from The Independence. <clears throat> Campaign to change the name of fire ants to spicy boys <laughs> gathers pace. I'm so okay with this. Oh, yeah. shit. Ah oh, shit. Um, yeah, this, this is an Australian thing, right? It, it has taken far too long for this issue to be dragged into the public eye. That's well, If it's what the people want, like never has there been so much publicity around an animal's name. So, mm. like, why not? It doesn't hurt anyone. It doesn't affect anyone negatively. It's just a bit of a laugh. Mm. Well, it's like, you know, those those little sausages that you get that are like- Cheerios? Yeah. they. You know what they're actually called? Little boys. Yeah. Mm. And the priests, like the Catholic Church campaigned to do that. I love me some little boys with a bit of tomato sauce. Mm. Mm. Barbie. A bit of Barbie too. Had some little boys last week. Mm. Nice and hot to touch. Well, now we can have some spicy boys. Hairless little little boys. Hairless little boys. Mm. Nice and warm. Skin smooth. Such a smooth skin. Interesting <laughs> flavour. Texture smooth. Where's that accent from? Is it fucking <laughs> swear like you just channeled some distant priest. <sighs> All right. Blacked next out. story. I blacked <clears throat> out then. I blacked out. I had no idea what we'll was We'll talk about happened. it later. <clears throat> All right. Another story from the Daily Mail. <laughs> Fucking more <laughs> idiots. <laughs> Girlfriend rejects her boyfriend's proposal because it was in a hotel room after he'd spent months planning out her dream holiday to mark their anniversary. Fucking get rid of her. Yeah, that's If not- a chick is that fucking superficial and bull- fuck her. I can't believe that's a news story. Like, so, oh. he must have gone and just told people, maybe posted it on Facebook, and now it's a news story. Of course, it's from the fuck. So, he's planned man. a trip and fucking done all this shit for her, and she's upset because of the location that he's proposed in? Also- She's fucked. Also, he's also fucked. As if you fucking proposed to a girl that that's- that, that that's, Is that fucked in the head? So, it's, if like if, if that was us, we would never ever propose to a girl- that's like that. We would just make sure that our girls would say yes if we proposed to them. No matter where. Even I could be hanging a shit. I could be hanging. I could just be hanging and propose. You <laughs> are me. And she'd probably, yeah, they'd say yes. Because that's romantic. Because, yeah, he would die for her and I would shit all over mine. <laughs> <laughs> all right, next story. <clears throat> now the one from the Daily Mail. <laughs> The real life Jonah. Incredible moment. A a diver is spat out by a whale after getting sucked in as the giant beast feasted on sardines. Are you fucking serious? Are you fucking with me? No. Daily Mail. Are you fucking with me right now? That's bullshit. I don't believe it. No, I did see a video on Facebook. Okay, it happened. Wow. (coughs) Facebook knows everything. Well, there you go. I I would, if if someone had asked me if that's possible. No way. So, what? He's been swallowed and then spat out because he wasn't krill. Yeah, he wasn't a sardine. I can't or believe Pinocchio. a human fits down the esophagus of a whale and then just can- Wow. Man, yeah. He's a lucky dude. Yeah. Well, he did what I would do. Yeah. If I got swallowed by a whale, I would just get out. So, he did that. So, props to yeah, him. Yeah. He's, he's the be best done. man so far out of all the stories. That is protocol if you're swallowed by a whale is to just get out yeah, of it. Walk away, get out like of yep. that situation. We wouldn't even be swallowed by a whale in the first place. Yeah. 
But anyway. Yeah. All right. Here we have a story from the Daily Telegraph. A man who sat on a gun that was left on his car seat accidentally shot himself in the penis. Oh, no. Man, that would suck so bad. Fuck. See, we would have never, ever- We'd sit on the gun, but if well, once it's shot, we'd quickly get up out of the way. Yeah, I'd just quickly move my penis to the side. Well, penis to the side after it's, it's shot. Um, all right, next news story. Last news story. Sky News has reported, US police called to check on welfare of cardboard cutout hugging a pillow. What? Officers in snowy Minnesota were told a man was seen motionless outside and wearing no coat in the cold. US police police received a surprise when they called out to check on the welfare of a cardboard cutout figure. All oh, right. Okay. Well, so whoever did that, it's a good prank. Yeah. And like, yeah, they've gotten away with it. Mm. Uh, okay. Yeah, that's well lovely. Dumb. <coughs> Wasting some time. <coughs> Wasting, yeah. Fuck it. <coughs> the community's resources. That's what we do. That's what we love doing. <laughs> <laughs> we make money from doing that, man. Mm. Um, Gosh. Um. All right, the the last segment. Prank call time. All right, the last segment is, of course, called... And it's where we do a prank call. And this week, we have an exciting prank call. We're going to... We've decided we're going to continue to call the same dominoes every week. (laughs) (laughs) And just fuck with them. So, you're probably wondering what the fuck this is doing here. So, I'm going to start this prank call. And I'm going to be ordering my meal whilst chewing this very crunchy food. And trying to be very hard to understand. And then, after I've ordered... I'm going to pass the phone to Michael and Michael will then also order and the ongoing joke will, he will also be chewing on crunchy food. So, this guy will just be like, what the fuck is wrong with these guys? They can't like stop eating food for a split second. They'll be like, why are they ordering pizza when they're already eating? Yeah. It's fucking catch 22. It's Harry Potter mixed with Lord of the Rings. All right. All right. Now, Siri called Domino's. Okay. We're calling Domino's. Here we go. Loudspeakers on. Fuel volume up, full volume up. Thanks for calling Domino's Delhi. My name is Stoddard. How can I help? Hi, Mel Clark. Can I make a uh, pick up the delivery, please? Sorry, your line's cutting off. Can I make a delivery? Oh, sorry, a pick-up order, please. Sure. What would you like? Um, can I get... I'll get two pizzas. So, first one, can I get... It's a barbecue chicken pizza with a crust, crust please. Mm-hmm. And... Do you want something to do with the two pizzas? Uh, sorry, mate. Your voice cutting off, so... Do I can't hear you properly. Do you guys have any... Specials like two, 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 two pizza pizza deals for twenty nine ninety five and premium pizza costs you two dollars ninety five extra on top. So mm-hmm. you get two pieces of garlic bread and a drink for twenty nine ninety five. Any premium pizzas you have to pay two dollars ninety five extra. Mm-hmm. Do you have any? Do you have any deals with dessert in it? Play. Do you have any deals with dessert in it? Sorry, do you have any deals with... With dessert? Dessert? No, no deals with dessert. So I can do dessert two for seven ninety five, which you get churros and lava cake. Okay. Well, I'm sorry, I'll, 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 I'll just get that barbecue chicken pizza. Oh, uh, what a ah! fuck. God damn it. Yeah, the phone line's... It's not. You're eating, obviously. The phone line's not fucked. He's going to get a fucking call back. I'm out to free my damn little list. Hello, can you ever call Dominic Dillon? I'm Matthew. Sorry, can I explain a pickup order, please? Yep. Can I get one large barbecue chicken pizza? Barbecue steak? Barbecue, barbecue chicken. Oh. And can I add some feta cheese on that? Yeah, I'll 
Uh, give me a minute, sorry. No, I... Steak and bacon, right? Yeah. Yeah, what did you add? And add a bit of feta cheese. Okay, feta cheese. Give me a minute. No, I... <sighs> yeah, barbecue steak and bacon with feta cheese, yep. Yeah, and I hang on. Wait, Darlene, what do you want to order? Hang on one second, just pass it to Darlene's okay. going on as well. Yeah? Yeah? Order. Oh. Come. 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 Some just a chicken burger? In the mind. In the mind. A little bacon cheeseburger? Uh, no. 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 Mm. And the ice cream. Okay. The ice cream. Mm. Uh. Did you get all that? So, a barbecue chicken pizza with feta cheese and one of glass of wine pizza with extra pineapple, please. Mm. Mm. Sorry, steak and bacon with feta and a double bacon. And, uh, and a, 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 a ham of pineapple. With, yeah, Hawaiian, yep. With extra pineapple. <laughs> yeah, extra pineapple. <laughs> Not really. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. I was choking hard on that shit. So close to vomiting, eh? Not really. <laughs> Not really. <laughs> and that's how you waste Domino's time. Oh, sorry, Domino's. We shouldn't be such assholes to dust Domino's. We actually, Domino's helped us through a rough spot. They give us $5 pieces when we had no money. Mm. So thank you, Domino's. But we will continue to pester you. I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah, we will. <sighs> Holy <All right>. shit. <clears throat> oh, my God. All right, we got Jackson coming home on Wednesday morning in a couple of days, so get ready for some videos with him. Well, we're the best, 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 we're the best. Fucking bracelet broke. Oh. <laughs> oh my god. That was fucking amazing.